So today I'm going to talk about the JFK assassination. The JFK assassination is one of the most infamous events in human history, and there are infinite conspiracy theories surrounding it since before the days of YouTube, believe it or not. My grandfather has a particularly interesting theory that it was a mafia hit. On November 22nd, 1963, President Kennedy was assassinated by Lee Harvey Oswald while riding in his open-top luxury vehicle through Dealey Plaza in, Plaza in Dallas, Texas. I've been to Dealey Plaza and looked through the window where Oswald shot Kennedy at the museum. As I looked through the window, I judged it to be a difficult shot for a regular person because there's two trees on this knoll like right outside of the building that would have maybe blocked his view. But Oswald was a marksman in the military, so it could have been a simpler shot for him. <laughs> I also have an alleged personal connection to the event, according to the family lore, as one of my distant cousins was an FBI agent or policeman, it's not, I'm not too sure, who arrested Jack Ruby, the man who permanently silenced Oswald. There were two articles I read to help give me some context for the JFK assassination and historical memory. So the first article I read was a 1992 article by Joel Achenbach called JFK Conspiracy, Myth versus Facts, Why Hasn't JFK's Assassination Been Solved Once and For All? In the article, he discusses the facts and myths of the association. He, one of the things he talks about is the second gunman theory. Notably, he says, how could Oswald have fired three shots from a bolt action rifle in 5.6 seconds? The gun requires 2.3 seconds between shots. You only would need 4.6 then. So Achenbach in his piece represents those who want to bring normalcy to such a controversial event. Um, truth be told, we won't know what actually happened on November 22nd, 1963, but we as historians need to use solid evidence before we make our own theories and change the historical memory of such a monumental event. So the second article that I read for this assignment was a 1979 article by George Lardner. So in his article entitled Mobsters Linked to JFK Death, Assassinations Unit Issues Final Report Laced with Doubts, Mobsters, Anti-Castro Activists Linked to JFK, Lardner discusses various theories related to the JFK assassination. Um, so some background on this. So after the JFK assassination, the House established a assassinations committee, which later also investigated the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. to help figure out what actually happened. So the House assassinations committee uh, concluded that the JFK assassination might have been linked to a patchwork assortment of gangland figures and anti-Castro activists. Um, Gart, or Lardner also points out that it might have been difficult for underworld figures like Carlo Masello, who was the mobster in Texas at the time, uh, to hire Oswald to kill uh, JFK. Allegedly, Jack Ruby was also connected to Carlo Marcello, who was a mobster. Um, one interesting thing about this article was that um, in the immediate decades following the JFK assassination, um, there was intrigue. So articles like Lardner's proof that the intrigue around the JFK assassination was present and always will be. Um, it's kind of sad that the whole event is tainted by controversy.